Hi, what's up everybody? So today we'll be talking about Dogecoin. So once you're ready, strap in, grab a coffee, and let's talk about the technical analysis of Dogecoin. So this is the daily time frame for Dogecoin. If you can see, prices have risen massively just as recent as April. Reached all-time highs of 75 cents in usd and now it has consolidated and is at a price of about half the previous high which is 38 cents and i think for dogecoin it's a challenge for me being a guy that trades on technical analysis because when you hear about the fundamentals you hear about the story behind it it's essentially hard for you to put your money to trade it because dogecoin is essentially a cryptocurrency which technically is meant as a joke it's meant for people to, they created it when, you know, cryptocurrency was a craze and they put a dog's face there. And seeing this crazy price action does make me self-doubt myself sometimes. But you have to remind yourself that when we're, when we're trading based on technical analysis, we need to put all the mumbo jumbo behind and trade what the chart tells us. So yesterday I placed a trade for Dogecoin and now I'll be going through the technical analysis and the setup that I'm seeing. So you can see from the daily time frame, prices have, well, consolidated pretty much. It has even reached a low of 23 cents. So this demand zone is really very important. Tested once, tested twice, and tested three times. Each test shows a higher low. So when there's a higher low, it shows there's a small buyers coming in. You see in the daily time frame also, the TDI line, which is the Trader Dynamic Index, basically is a lagging indicator that shows the past 50 days sentiment. And it's really in the buy zone since last year, November. So it's showing very much strong buying power and understandably so because of such high spikes in prices. So looking at this daily time frame, we now break it down further to the fourly time frame. So for early time frame is where I took my trade. Um, I think for early time frame is sufficient enough to show a decent bullish setup that I'm looking at. If you see from price consolidation all the way back down, prices have really consolidated with a falling wedge pattern. And because cryptocurrency is such a high volatile market, you can see a lot of spikes trying to break through the trend line, trying to close below the trend line, trying to even close below the support. However, they have failed. There's a lot of buyers. I think uh, Elon Musk, big tweets or people FOMOing or buying the dip. I think all these have really contributed to strong buying pressures when they see dips in Dogecoin. So you see a break, attempted breakthrough did not close uh, below the support line or the trend line and then comes down again did not close again and now it broke up so when it broke up at this point we did not chase we are looking at essentially finding the pullback so where do we find the pullback right so wait let me just remove this trend line find a pullback by first finding the support zone so the immediate support zone we are looking at is what i was looking at yesterday night was this so you can see price action got rejected at this resistance again three times. And then now on the fifth, on the fourth, sorry, the math is bad. On the fourth time it broke up, managed breakthrough, broke down. So last night I was looking to see if resist, if the new support would hold. It held up pretty well. You see a small wick here, you see some buying pressure here, and you see some consolidation here. So essentially, what I would like to see from this going forward is, let me just drag out this drawing. So I would like to see further consolidation and after which a price to the upside. So where do, I, where do I see price targets at? Yesterday night, I was looking at a, I was having a long at the 37 cents mark. stop loss before the previous low and you see a price target of around this area P 
pretty good risk reward of 1.84. Some people might be more aggressive. If you're more aggressive, you can put the stop loss to below this intermediate support line. And if it breaks through, you can look to enter again. But this can be a bit aggressive. You know, cryptocurrencies can have a wild swing. So you can be a bit more conservative and have your stop loss at the previous low. So having said that, the risk reward we're looking at 1.88. So you're looking to win 1.8 times compared to a loss of 1. So a rather decent risk reward ratio for Dogecoin. So we'll continue monitoring and I'll keep you guys updated on this trade setup. And if I could just go quickly to Ethereum. So Ethereum's we covered this in the previous video. We mentioned that if you look at the daily time frame, you can mention that there's resistance over here, you can see. And breaking it down to the four hourly time frame, what we said in the previous video was for it to break through, retest support, and then go to the next price target. However, as you saw from past two days, it got rejected again, and then now it's trying to break through again. So what I said in the previous video, if you have not checked it out, do check it out because I did mention that you can take some profits here if you have entered in at the low here or at a trend line low here. You can take some profits. You know, consider taking some profits. If you enter at this area, it's pretty much a good 40-50%. You can take some profits here. And from here, you see a trend line that's holding up pretty well and it's showing continued bullish price action. So one thing I'd like to highlight here is that for Ethereum, you can see for the trade setup, there's higher probability of this price action breaking through this resistance level. It's not certain. I would never say certain, but there's higher probability because look at this. It's rejected once, twice, three times, four times, and now on the fifth try, it's trying to come back up again. So let's monitor this. I would say that for me, I'm still quite bullish on Ethereum. I think that once we clear this, resistance level, I think there's more upside for us to see price action to reach towards the next major resistance, which is the 3000 range. So we'll keep you guys updated on this. And at the same time, if you look at Bitcoin, previously we also looked at Bitcoin, but Bitcoin for us, I would advise to stay away. If you look at Bitcoin, essentially Bitcoin is price action is not looking as good as Ethereum. You can see that prices are not forming higher highs. Instead, they're consolidating into what we call as a triangle. So if I draw this triangle over here, if you see a break to the upside, it'll be good. But for triangles, normally, well, more often than not, it's a continuation pattern for the downside. And for Bitcoin, I will touch, let you guys know that it might not be a good setup if you're bullish on this. So we still have to wait on the fence, see how price action comes going forward. Lastly, let's look at Cardano. Cardano in the previous video, if we did mention it's the most bullish cryptocurrency out of Ethereum and Bitcoin. Reason being that it formed a higher high, tried to close above the previous high, and then it was testing the new support. However, price action did not hold well in this support. Is instead it broke down, tested the trend line, and then now it's trying to make its way back up. So, what we can see from this price action is essentially there is higher probability of this resistance or this supply zone breaking. If it breaks, we can see a higher price action to this level of two dollar and seventeen cents. However, if let's say we look at risk. Not every day is Sunday. So if it breaks through this trend line, we can look to take some profits because if it breaks through this trend line, there is a probability of it testing it again and then going to the downside. So if it does break trend line, you can put a stop loss, can take half your profits to reduce exposure to the market, especially if you've got good price over here. You can reduce your exposure to the trend line and wait for it to break up again as well. I don't see any harm in doing that. Most importantly is to have proper risk management. Know when you're going to come out, know what you expect and don't try to just predict upside or just predict the downside, but look at both areas and see what's the action you will do. So when it does happen, 
we will know the exact steps and we will not panic. So if it does break the trend line, I'll be looking to take out some profits and then um, we'll see where we go from here. Okay, so that's all for the video. I hope it gave you some value and if it, if it really did, it would help the channel a lot if you could like, subscribe and drop any comments on your opinion as well on the technical analysis. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.